This land is your land. This land is my land. From California, well, to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf. Hello, I'm Marky Shan from Marky's World. And I have with me today is Sharon O. Johnson. Judge Sharon O. Johnson. <laughs> I'm so um, I'm sorry to say that, but Judge Sharon O. Johnson, thank you so much for allowing me to come here and to interview you. Oh, it's truly my pleasure to be here. And I think this is a uh, this is an honor for me because I read up on you and I thought that it was just really a. a wonderful to learn so much about you and I met your husband he is great okay he is really you. great so Sharon tell me a little what uh, now see now <laughs> judge Sharon <laughs> judge Johnson <laughs> tell me a little about yourself and uh, where did you originate how did who you know how did this occur how was Sharon uh, oh uh, presented Okay, well, I am originally from uh, Chicago, and uh, I attended uh, Chicago Public Schools. I'm proud to say that I got an excellent education in uh, CPS. I attended Lindblom Technical High School in Englewood. From there, went to Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois. Now, when I started at Bradley, mm -hmm. I originally thought I wanted to go into medicine. I wanted to be a pediatrician. And the truth of the matter is, I thought that's what you know, I wanted to do because that was really the only professional that I knew. Mm -hmm. Like many children, you know, they can only be what they can see. Right. So that was the only professional that I had had contact with and thought that's what I wanted to do. Little did I know that uh, biochemistry was going to be a little stumbling block for me when I got to yeah. uh, Bradley. And I got involved in student government there. Uh, there was a white supremacist that decided he would march uh, near the campus. And of course, it inspired uh, the student body, including myself, to get involved in the administration so that that wouldn't happen again. So at that juncture, I got in student government, I was elected all school secretary, mm -hmm. and decided that I would go to law school. And uh, luckily for me, Howard University accepted me uh, into their fold. And uh, from there, I clerked for a judge, uh, Judge Lawrence Lawson, who was the first African-American judge in New Jersey, and then came back home and okay. worked for the city of Chicago and then went into private practice. And I practiced law for 14 years. I had a general practice. Yeah. Uh, so family law, real estate, uh, some transactional work, like you know, real estate closings. Um, basic you know general practice mm -hmm. and then decided to run for judge and, and so uh, what goes into a person's mind when they're thinking about running to become a judge I mean you know for you to even think that way you have to have so much courage in you you know to say like well I'm going to that's mm -hmm. like saying I'm going to run for president for yeah. most uh, black people I, I'm a little educated at well yes. I may not act like it sometimes <laughs> but sure. you know uh, to say that you're going to become a judge, have you, I mean, was it something that you said, well, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this, but I would like to become it, or did you just say that? Well, Marky, um, honestly, I uh, was practicing law and knew that I needed to make a change. Uh, you know, attorneys work long hours, and uh, you know, I wanted a more uh, set schedule in my day, particularly because I was about to start a family. Uh, but also in my practice, I was appearing before judges that I felt uh, didn't have uh, the vested interests of the people that I served or our community uh, in mind as they issued these rulings. And so, you know, you can't complain unless you're willing to do something about it. That is true. And so you mentioned my husband, Reverend Mitchell Johnson, earlier. 
And uh, I mentioned to him, you know, I, I think I might want to be a judge. Just kind of tossing it out right. there, not having no idea what it would take to make this happen. But I knew from my experience in New Jersey working mm -hmm. for a judge that, you know, that may be a career path for me. But you me. know, it, a part of that is your network system because you have a husband that is really there for you. I mean, he's, yes. he's actually a great uh, cheerleader for you. He, yes. I mean, yes. oh, yes. the way he was talking to me about mm -hmm. you, it was just like... Uh, did he just marry you? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's well, very he's persuasive. But he is so in love with you. That Thank is, you. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the uh, things that people like to see in a yeah. black family, and that's that's really wonderful. Yeah. Well, all all I had to do was plant the seed, and he took off running wow. with it. Uh -huh. uh, and of course, that's one of the things I love about him. Mm -hmm. uh, but we certainly complement one another. Uh, honestly speaking, he is moving full steam ahead, and I'm saying, you know, whoa, Nelly, a little bit sometimes. Right. Yeah, and so we meet in the middle. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, to have yes. somebody like that in your corner and by your side is just wonderful. Somebody you can trust and love and adore. That's just really, uh, I, I mean. Oh, absolutely, because it, as you stated earlier, it does take courage. It does. To run for any office because basically you're putting your life, all of, not only the accomplishments, but also uh, the mistakes that you've made mm -hmm. and you're putting them on a platter for everyone to see. I know. And, and I know yes. that that has to be kind of rough for you because now you now you're laying your life out there. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's not easy. Yeah. You're, uh, sharing around the house is Judge O. Johnson, yeah. you know, out in the public. And it's a lot that you have to bring out. Mm -hmm. And uh, But from what I've seen, I, th I think you are a wonderful person. And I am so proud of you. You know, that's one Thank of the you. things that pushed me toward you. You know, I... And you know, I told you I had your. I've got like three or four of your cards. Okay. I, I was like, <laughs> it must be a reason for this. Yes. It must. Yes. Be. Divorce. I uh, decide child support, maintenance, um, custody of children. Oh wow. And uh, I, I take it very seriously because I know that these decisions not only affect the people standing before me, but also their children for generations to come as well as the community, uh, because when they leave that courtroom, whatever that order is, they're taking that with them that affects how they treat the people that they come in contact with and how they feel about themselves. Yeah. And so, you know, I try to look at the big picture and um, recognize that. Yeah, that's true. You have to be you know, in tune with these uh, families that are coming up yes. now and realize that also that they're like three or four generations behind as far as mm -hmm parental uh, values being given out. In some cases. In some cases that's true. Yeah. And uh, we it's have a hard to, decision. Yes. I leave yes. that to you. Well I tell you, you know, I'm married to a minister and so one of the things that I do and my mother's a minister as well and she tells me make sure you pray before you go out there and so I do think that that's important. We need judges who um, you know, believe in something higher than themselves. Yeah. yeah. And in, know in, that there's... In God we trust. Yes. And, yeah. and know that there's an ultimate judge here yeah, uh, that we have to answer to. And so, you know, that kind of keeps me grounded and um, uh, makes me uh, strive to relate to the people that I'm serving uh, as opposed to, you know, looking down on anyone or uh, truly judging their character, right. although we're charged with, you know, with entering judgment. But, you know, none of us can really, you know, judge, uh, you know, someone's character. We can judge their actions. Yeah, that's true. That and the true. things that they've done, but that, you know, isn't who they are or who God has called them to be. This land is your land. This land is your land.